get potentially some roams going with the train protector shadow shaman early that may have been the intention but it doesn't matter mid lane some aggression going both ways burning maybe in over his head here chuan well he needs to tether out and some cooldown for a couple of seconds possible first blood chuan goes down the big beefy tree punches him down and make the smoke on the tower not something where they've actually found the hero here. They get a deep ward behind the T1. They see this sniper somewhat alone and assassinate. This is looking bad. In comes your Sonic Wave on two. The overgrowth is there. Can they get the kill? Chain Frost as well. That blows up one. It's going to be a second kill on your Trium Protector. No counter kill from June. Gets the Wisp, but June hasn't really got a good escape plan off of this. He's going to be brought down by your Bristleback. The only good Killing spree for your Clockwork quickly ended by your Bristleback. In mid lane, when he wins the block, he'll just forget last thing and just try to zone you out of the lane from the get-go. Lua bottom lane, he's gonna get overgrowth here. Assassinate the follow, here comes to relocate, Chain Frost bouncing around, will stop bouncing. It looks like June's gone in, but into his own death here. Sonic Wave goes through, catches your tree, and he's still being scouted out by the sentry. Two for nothing and very little damage done onto the IG heroes as they lose a third in your sniper. Chase is on, they want Rabbit, but doesn't look like they'll find him. I like the... That, normally I'm not a big fan of the the mech on Bristol, but I think because you have the Wisp on your team this game, it's pretty solid. Ah, jump top. They can't get the relocate out. Sanchez found Twan, locked him in place, or has he? Twan tethers out. That's a relocate, but might not get a chance to use it. They're going to go with the chain frost. Burning still alive and pretty healthy. He gets a second kill and banana. No mana for a nature's guy. It's going to be locked in place. It looks like he's going to go down. Burning saying, I'll just find these certain wards for now. Oh boy, triple kill for your Chaos Knight. How did Burning even get the kill? The Illusion's got the- Rabbit's still getting some pretty decent farm, so playing the split push game is as best he can, and like you said, that's the hope for, for Newbie at the moment, that the Jug just gets absolutely huge and can hang on to this game. That's an aggressive blink. Ferrari may have just sped away his own life. The relocate's there, but he's going to die to the battery assault. Surfing wants to get dropped, and Moo. Pushed around, he's gonna go down in your sniper, but can they retaliate here? Sanchez trapped in the trees will shackle Faith, but looks like IG may be coming out on top despite losing their Queen of Pain to start things off. The gem gets dropped on the ground, it's a fall for two. Buyback from your sniper wants to turn and take this fight. Burns this next Roshan, or if it's gonna go a different direction. Queen of Pain en route to Roshan as well. Maybe a more of a Ferrari thing. So he keep EA feeling same, we'll take the ages then. Queen of Pain gonna be your carry here. This big thing is there's so much plus armor on the IG side with the Soul Crest, with the Ice Armor. The physical damage of the Jug and the Sniper is gonna be heavily Dyer's negated by under multiple sources of armor on the IG camp. Oh, that's an illusion. It's gonna be Banana instead they go on. Gets out the overgrowth, then Twine just went in there and he gets that viscerate to start things off. The top of from Ferrari, not bad. They're gonna lose a couple on the newbie side, but the Omni side on the burning. That's a dead Chaos Knight and Rabbit. Moving on to Faith, he's done a lot of damage here, but gonna be forced back a bit. The healing ward now coming into play. Can they kill it off? It doesn't look like it. They blow up the Queen of Pain at the Aegis and Chase is on. Unfortunately, there's no hook. A lot of the Radiant team movement right now. <laughs> After the way the last fight went, I don't think they'll be too eager to go relocate in. Well, in nearly, but they are, they have got backup. Now they're relocated to be supported by the bristle back, but burning on the back lines, getting pushed around by the cogs. There's your overgrowth. He hasn't got a way out of this one. He's already popped the manta style. Will expire, but now onto your onto your shadow shaman. Down he goes. Chain frost bouncing around. Just come to free. Two for nothing trade. Luo. Another pretty decent fight going IG's way. All of that without the Phantasm, either. Burning didn't even have mana to, to pop it off in the fight, it was just the Manta style going to work for him. And that, that's much more of the initiation that IG looking for. Hex on a relevant target and uh, jumping oh, out that's a good Rabbit. Hex. Rabbit not even going to get a spell off. Ferrari lured him in. He's going to bring down June as well in the Clockwork and with this many on the sidelines, Jug and Sniper and Clockwork, no buyback on anyone except the Jug. Looks like Burning going to head mid. Phantasm and Manta style ready to go. Scotty complete. This could be multiple Radiant's lanes of racks if newbies don't have an answer to it. And I don't think a jug buyback's gonna be enough. I mean, he has to use it. They don't have glyphs. <laughs> if you don't, you lose mid and top. And even if you do, I think you lose at least mid, possibly more. But, did you see Living Armor go up for a half second there and then Chaos Dot Illusions got rid of it entirely? 
Yeah, uh, about that. Ferrari gets hexed up on the front lanes. Queen of Pain falls back. Can they keep Ferrari alive? The Shadow Blade not going to be enough. The Omni Side finishes them off, so not a bad hold so far from Newbie. Using that Jug Omni Side as well, but now Rabbit getting slowed down. That Scotty slow brings him down into the top lane. We go. It's a die back from your Jug. Dead tree and protect him. This is looking like the end they for Newbie end here it, right? in game two. Yeah, no Jug for 90 seconds. It's over. Yep, they're going for the throne and it forces out a GG from June. IG with a 2-0 victory. Knock Newbie out from the Summit 3 China. Brought to you by Gigabyte. That was... Just felt like a standard day at the office for IG. Yeah, I, I really don't feel like they broke a sweat at all. But uh, I, I don't want to feel like a... I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I think a lot of it, again, just coming down to, to draft and Newbie having to do weird things with their lanes to even have them be yeah. semi-passed.